You know why a Sagittarius can't pretend? It's because they're bloody sensitive and they're ruled by their stomach. And the fire element in their sign is also flipping a line to the stomach. But they don't want to understand something about their stomach. They are shy to have a relationship with their vulnerability based off of what the Sagittarius as a soil grew out of. If they had good soil, we can depict as a Sagittarius adult what type of person they'll be. Half of the reason why they feel so prone not to being, you know, optimistic about certain things, no new friends kind of energy, and they keep their aura and their circle and their space, especially who they open up to, very small and tight and intimate is because they are low-key, very sensitive people who are inclined to be very intuitive, but they're not loud about it. They're loud about a lot of their ego's energy and that's normal because it's in the sun. But here's the trick with the bloody Sagittarius. If your ego is sun and then your flipping fire, you a fire element on top of that. And then that fire element rules your stomach, Sagittarius. This means that all that you are in terms of your health can be depicted on your diet. And it's very easy to depict um, with the Sagittarius, what type of diet they'll prone, they're prone to because it's definitely there by the sweet stuff and it's definitely there by the salty, savory stuff. And they are very, very attached to the... The diet is very attached to their well-being. If they're conscientious, you will see it. They are healthy, not just in the body, but in the mind, in the emotions, and in their overall well-being as an energy source. But if a Sagittarius is unhealthy, go look at the, the processed food that they eat. Go look at the pastas that they enjoy, the dairy that they the cheeses, the creams. Ooh, liquor. They are eating. The trauma is making the order. It's not the Sagittarius. The Sagittarius is still oblivious that they are their stomachs and the stomachs is them. But there's a catch with the, 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 the stomach. The stomach rules all that is um, funny, childlike, playful, emotional, and all that is creative, confident, um, expansive. And when it comes to Jupiter, you have another Mursha marble of a ball. It's like seeing something big just... Hmm. Jupiter is massive. It's all about expansion. So now you have a bloody sun, plus you have the ego, plus you have the stomach, and then you have expansion. Now again, depending on where you are, Sagittarius, if you're here by the traumatized side, then expansion will happen in ways where the, the bitter things in your life expand. More depression, more weight gain, more um, alienated from life. Um, you must be careful of how powerful you are in the sign that your ego is in, that your sun is in, because this Sagittarius sign has so much power. But it is all dependent on how much you are able to let go, my dear Sagittarius. How much you are able to let in, my dear Sagittarius. Because you naturally are congealers. You hold things in. And this is why you are prone to having low B12, irritated sleep. You will say, ah, I'm just an insomniac, Nathaniel. No, it's because you don't let go. It's because the flippin' blood is stiff. And you will be more prone to health issues quicker than you should sooner than you should there's an organic time for those kind of things you will be speeding it up because if your emotions and your unprocessed trauma because you don't want to go to anyone that helps you because you feel like you're going to help yourself Sagittarius you're going to do it all by yourself Sagittarius when was the last time you went to the doctor Sagittarius you're going to do it all by yourself then it congeals there in the stomach and this is why Jupiter will be there in the stomach it will expand we know how that works but if you are conscientious and you start feeling, which is my challenge to you, bloody Sagittarius, not like you're going to listen to me, but I dare you to do it. Try to feel. Try to let go. Try to let things pass through your stomach. Experience things. Don't take it personal because your, your erratic nature and your unaware nature in your sun, your flippin' fire sign and in your stomach you are prone if you're unhealed you are prone to being very erratic in your emotions prone to being very drastic in in violence in aggression in just allowing yourself to go straight to that you're only aggressive because you're scared 
And that is the essence that we want to start caring for. But if you're not going to speak about it, then I'm going to put it out there for everybody to see. So you can send this to your wife, your husband, your aunt, your uncle, whoever the hell in the world from Saudi Arabia all the way to Colorado. You can at least send the Sagittarius of the world this video or the people that you know that Sagittarius so that you can at least give them guidance of where to start how to care for you because we know you're not going to say it you're not going to open up about it but at least i'm putting it out there now so they can understand you you are a very spiritual and intuitive sign because of your fire element in your stomach listen to your gut and stop listening to your thinking learn to go beyond the name that you were given and get to know yourself in your soul's energy in experiencing things not taking things personal anymore you're not just a human you a whole energetic experience. Please remember that, my dear Sagittarius.